Okay, number one. A gas occupies 1.1 liters, so that's a volume, at 1.25 atm, that's a pressure, and 30 degrees Celsius, that's a temperature. If the gas is compressed to a volume of 900, um, so now we have another volume, and it's 900 milliliters, at a temperature, of 25 degrees Celsius, find the pressure. And they want the pressure in millimeters of mercury. So I just went through the question and wrote out my good information. I see two volumes, two temperatures, a known pressure and an unknown pressure. So that tells me that P1V1 over T1 equals P2V2 over T2. Again, I have multiple volumes, multiple temperatures, and multiple pressures, even though one of them is unknown. Um, in order to use this formula, as long as, the as long as the units match on each side, we can use any units we want for pressure and volume. Temperature has to be in Kelvin. So I'm going to leave all of these units exactly as they are, um, and I'll convert the other side to match. So my pressure is 1.25 atm. My volume is 1.1 liters. My temperature, actually, I do have to add 273 to because it has to be in Kelvin. Um, on the other side, I'm solving for the pressure. My volume, I would want to convert into liters first to match the other liters. And my temperature, I also have to convert to Kelvin by adding 273. Um, I'm going to cross multiply this to solve. Once I do so, um, my pressure will be in ATM. And the reason I know that is because the pressure I plugged in on the left-hand side is ATM. So 303 times the 0.9 times the P, we get 272.7 P equals 298 times 1.1 times 1.25. I'm trying to get the pressure by itself. So I wanna divide by that 272 number. And I get that my pressure is going to be 1.5, but again, it's ATM because I plugged in ATM previously. And the question wants the pressure in millimeters of mercury. So I want to convert that 1.5 ATM into millimeters of mercury because that's the question asked for. I'm solving for it millimeters of mercury. I know the pressure in ATM. To finish my conversion, I need to grab the numbers that are given. They're actually given at the top of the quiz for millimeters mercury and ATM, and then I'm cross multiplying. And I'm done.